Hey, what's up, users? This is John at muse for You here to help you build awesome websites without code. And in this video tutorial, I will be showcasing the new YouTube video background widget. Uh, with this widget, you can set a full screen background on your Adobe Muse website, as well as assign play, pause, mute, volume up, and volume down functionality to different elements on your Adobe Muse website. The button elements can have any styling you'd like and can make for a really fun and creative way to showcase a video on your website. Uh, it could also make for a really interesting opening page. So in this uh, video tutorial, I have a few different examples. I'll start with the first one here where I use the animated buttons found at museforyoushop.com. And I use the animated buttons for the play button, the pause button, the mute button, the volume down button, and the volume up button. So over here, I have the YouTube full screen video background widget. So I'll open the widget options. And here we can see we can we can enter in any YouTube video ID right in here. Uh, we can have the video initially muted or uh, we can set it so that the sound plays when when the user visits the page. Uh, we can repeat the video or just have it play once. And right here is the play button graphic style name or the graphic style name for all of the different buttons that you can assign this different functionality to. So we have the play button, the pause button, the mute button, uh, the volume up, and the volume down. And I'll show you more how to use this in a second. And right here we have the video starting position, and this is in seconds. So if you wanted the video to start two minutes in, you'd write in 120 seconds. Uh, if you wanted the video to start at uh, one minute in, you'd, you'd, type, you'd write in 60 seconds. And let's say five minutes, you you do 300. You type in 300 uh, seconds. Very good. So here we have the graphic styles, and you'll notice I mentioned earlier I have these buttons here. And if I open my graphic styles panel, which is right over here to the right, uh, we see we have mute, pause, play, volume down, and volume up. And these correspond exactly to these uh, graphic style names here. So you can actually change these names. Uh, you wouldn't really need to because these these um, Descriptions are pretty self-explanatory, you know, play, pause, mute, volume up, and volume down. Um, and then all you would have to do is assign those graphic style names to each of the buttons that you wanted to represent that functionality. So for this play button here, um, I just assigned it the graphic style uh, name, play. So this button now, if you click on it, will play the YouTube video. This one will pause it. This one will mute it. This one will turn the volume down, and this one will turn the volume up. Very good, and I'll show you how to assign these graphic styles in this video tutorial. If you don't see the graphic styles panel, you can simply go to Window and click on Graphic Styles. And I'll click it again to bring it back up. And there we have it. So now that I've given a quick overview of the widget and the different functionality and things you can do with it, I'm going to go ahead and preview in the browser. So I'm just going to clo close my graphic styles panel here. So I'm going to go to File, Preview Page in Browser. And I'll click Allow here. And here we can see we have, uh, I've entered in a, a video tutorial that I've done and I'll just unmute it. Let me turn the volume down here. Um, I'll just unmute it. And so you can hear me talking there and I can turn the volume down by clicking the volume down button. I can turn the volume up. I can pause it and I can play it. So pause and play. And then I can mute it again and unmute it, pause it, and play it. So as you can see, as you can see, it's a, a pretty creative way to showcase a video, or just a fun way to showcase a video, I should say, uh, so that if a user uh, goes to your website, they can have full control over how they see the video, and you have this really nice uh, YouTube video background for your uh, Adobe Muse website. So in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to access this widget. I'm going to show you a few more examples and I'm going to show you how to use this widget. So let's begin. So to access this widget, you simply go to museforyoushop.com and you click on shop now. And then here you can get access to all widgets and any new widgets I come out with for 39 a year. Or you can click here to subscribe with PayPal. Or you can simply go to the widget, which I have right here, YouTube Video Background, and click on it. And you can purchase individually by clicking Add to Cart. Or again, you can get all widgets for $39 a year and any new widgets I come out with. So once you get access to the widget, you'll download a zip file. So you simply extract the zip file, and you double-click on the .mulip file, and it will install into your Adobe Muse website. 
So I'm going to go back to my Adobe Muse website. And once you install it, it'll go to your library panel. And I have it here, the right here, the YouTube video background. And to place it on your Adobe Muse website, you simply click, hold, and drag and place onto your Adobe Muse website. Very good. So that's it. And if you don't see your libraries panel, you can just go to window and click on library and it'll bring the library panel back up. So now that we've gone over how to access it, I'm going to show you a few more examples. I know I showed one example in the beginning of this video tutorial, uh, but here I have another example with the animated button icons. Um, so it's again the animated buttons widget found at MuseForYouShop.com and I use the buttons and these are all uh, font awesome icons. So as you can see the font awesome icons are very useful because I found all of these icons within the font awesome library. Um, which you can use with the animated buttons widget. So we have the play button, the pause button, the mute button, the volume down button, and the volume up button. So again, if I go to file, preview page, and browser, these buttons will do all of those. So I'll, I'll unmute it. Mute, unmute, pause, and play. Hey, what's up, users? Very good. And I can unmute, awesome websites without code. turn the volume and up, in this video tutorial, I will be showing you how to turn the volume down, Opacity effect. pause and play. Uh, with Very good. And as you can see, these buttons have this really nice effect on them where you hover over them and they have this really nice effect. Very good. So now I'll go to my third example. Here I have just icons that I got from flaticon.com. So, so as you can see, I've got a few icons here. So again, I'll go to file, preview page and browser. And I'll unmute it. So the first thing and I can I'm pause it, play it. Get the images. Uh, so I'm gonna go to my phone. Volume down this and volume up. Hand with an iPhone. So we wanna Very good. So I'll go to my fourth example. I, here I use the click effects with the icons. So there's a new update to the click effects widget where you can place the click effect on any Adobe Muse element you'd like. So let me minimize this here. Um, so yeah, instead of having to use an icon, you can now place it on any element you'd like by making the icon transparent. So I'll go to File, Preview Page, and Browser. And again, I'll unmute it. So as you can see, it has that click effect on the button. And I'll play it. Pause it. Let me unmute it. I'll play. So as you can see, I'm clicking the buttons. User scrolls. I have an example here. And we have that click effect on each of the buttons. And you can see that that first image is blurry. And Very nice. So that's using the click effects widget found at museforyoushop.com along with some icons from flaticon.com. Very good. So I'll have, I have uh, the fourth example here. This is just using the animator widget along with these icons. So if I go to file, preview page, and browser, and I hover over the icons, I can pause it and play it. And we can see it has a, an animation effect over each of the icons. So it's just a fun users, this is fun way to kind of animate these buttons. And in this video tutorial, I'll be showing. Very good. So I hover over them and they bounce. City effect. Uh, with this effect, you can have good, I'll pause it. I'll play it. Blurry, as I'll mute it. Also use any other volume down and volume up. Transition between images. At Very good. And I have a fifth example here. Uh, this is just using the SVG draw widget. So I can actually draw the icons and then use them as play, pause, buttons, mute, and volume down and volume up buttons. So if we notice here, we have this SVG drawing and then it works as a play button. So I can pause it. I can play it. Very good. Let's do that again. Pause it and play it. Perfect. And these just work like the other ones did as well. So as you can see, you can do pretty much anything with your buttons. And this allows for a really creative way to showcase a YouTube video on your Adobe Muse website. So now that I've gone over the different examples, I'm going to show you quickly how to uh, use this widget. So I'm going to go to my uh, blank website here. Very good. And I'll just center the website here. So I'll just go to my library panel and I'll scroll down to the YouTube video background widget and I'll simply click, hold, and drag to place onto my Adobe Muse website. And here I have it. Very good. So I'll open up the widget options and here we can see it says YouTube video ID. So you can enter any ID here. So for instance, I'll go to 
uh, my YouTube channel. So I'll go to youtube.com slash muse for you shop there. And here I, I'm in my channel. And let's say I want to add this, uh, this Google Translate video that I just recently created. So I'll just click on it. And then right up here, and I'll pause it here. Right up here is the ID after V equals. You just want to copy this text after that, this, uh, this ID. So I'm going to right click and click on copy. And then I'm going to go back to my Adobe Muse website. I'll open the widget options and then the YouTube video ID. I'll highlight this, right click and click on paste. Or I can hit, hit Command V or Control V if you're on Windows. And to copy, you can hit Control C or Command C if you're on, uh, or Command C if you're on Mac and Control C if you're on Windows. Very good. So there's my YouTube video, and I'll just hit Enter. And now if I go to File Preview Page in Browser, we have the full screen uh, YouTube uh, there, the YouTube video. So initially it's muted, and we don't have any play buttons or any of the buttons there. So I'm going to add a few buttons. Um, so I'm going to kind of go back to my browser and close this here. So I'll add a few buttons. Um, I'm going to use the animated buttons widget uh, from usefreeshop.com. So I'm going to scroll down, and I have it here, animated buttons widget. So I'm simply going to, and I'm going to use just the buttons, not the not the icons. So I'm going to click, hold, and drag, and place onto my Adobe Muse website. And I'll close the library panel. And I'm going to use um, Tamaya 1 for this one, for the click effect. And then for the button text before, I'm going to say uh, play. And the button text after, I'm going to say play as well. And then I'm going to use a Google font, so I'll erase the font family there. And there I have it. Very good. So I'm just going to copy and paste this uh, four more times. Very good. And I'm going to bring them closer together, like so. So we have more space. Here, what I'll do is kind of just arrange them like this. And then I'll highlight them all, go to align, and distribute spacing uh, evenly, and make sure that the align to is, uh, is align to selection. Very good. And then I'm going to take the footer area, or the footer area is not there anyways. So um, yeah, I just don't want a footer area. So I'm going to highlight all these, and I'm going to pin them to the bottom. Very good. So now if I go to File, Preview Page, and Browser, we have it there. So I actually do have a footer area. Um, so let me remove that. So I'm going to go to Plan View. I'm going to go to A Master, and I'm just going to drag this up like that so that we don't have that bottom of the page space there. And I'll just bring these icons all the way down to the bottom of the page. And I'll go to File, Preview Page in Browser. And there I have my buttons. They don't do anything, and they all say Play. So I'm going to change that. I'm going to go to each one, and I'm going to say, for this one, I'm going to say Pause. For this one, Pause as well. For this one, I'm going to say um, Mute and Mute. With this effect, um, it opens up and says some other text, but I just want it to say the same text. Uh, for this one, I'm going to say Volume Down. And for this one here, I'll say Volume Down as well. Very good. So there we have Volume Down. And then I'll go to the next button, and I'll do Volume Up and Volume Up as well. Perfect. So now they each say play, pause, mute, volume down, and volume up. So basically what I want to do now is assign these graphic style names to these buttons. So for the play button, I'll do the, I'll assign play, and so on, pause, mute, volume up, and volume down, so that these different buttons have this functionality. Very good. So I'm going to click on the play button. I'm going to go to my graphic styles option. And again, if you don't see the graphic st styles panel, just go to window and click on graphic styles. So I'll click on window again to bring up the graphic styles panel. Very good. So now to assign this button the graphic style name play, uh, we click on this kind of create a new style from the attributes. Uh, it looks like a piece of paper icon there. So I'll click on it, then I'll double click, and I'll t type in play. Very good. So now this button has the graphic style name play, and I'll do the rest the same for the rest of the buttons. And I'll call this pause. Then for mute, I'll say mute. And for volume down, I'll do volume down. And for volume up, I'll do volume up. up. Very good. So now all of these buttons will work with the video, 
the YouTube video background. So now if I go to file, preview page and browser, and I unmute it, we can see it unmutes the video. I can mute it again or unmute and then pause it, play it. Hey, what's up, users? This I can do volume guys. down or volume up. And in this video tutorial, I will be showing you how Very to good. And mute it there. So that's basically it. You can do this with any element on your Adobe Muse website. And if you find that a particular element or widget isn't working when you assign the graphic style name to it, you can simply create a transparent rectangle over the element and then assign the graphic style to that rectangle that's over the element and it'll it'll work uh, really well. Very good. And I, you know, I find that it works with all pretty much all elements on your Adobe Muse website. Uh, with the SVG draw, I did have to kind of create a transparent rectangle over it um, because it didn't seem to want to assign a graphic style to uh, the SVG draw widget here. So I just created a transparent rectangle and assigned the graphic style over the uh, SVG draw here. So as you can see, it's a really fun and creative way to showcase your YouTube videos. So that's pretty much it for this video tutorial. And again, to access this widget, you simply go to newsforyoushop.com. You click on shop now and you can get all widgets and any new widgets I come out with for 39 a year. And you can, uh, you can click here to subscribe or you can subscribe with PayPal or you can purchase the widget individually here by simply clicking on add to cart or you can get all widgets and any new widgets I come out with for 39 a year by subscribing here. Very good. So that's pretty much it for this video tutorial. Again, I do this to help you build awesome, awesome websites without code. Uh, if you like this video tutorial, you can subscribe below. Also in the show more section below are links to more resources uh, found at museforyoushop.com. And yeah, just links to other resources down there. And you can visit museforyoushop.com. Again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video tutorial.